Hey, Starfish Nation, it's Bob coming to you live from uh, the roof here at Starfish Initiative 814 North Delaware with one of our wonderful scholars, Carrie Dugan, here joining me today. And a uh, really great thing that her mentor, Barb Howe, actually came to us through our roof efforts last year. Her and her husband, Ollie, just walking down the street, came up, got found out about Starfish, and a year later now, she's been a great influence on this young lady's life. And so we're, we're uh, grateful for this and hope we get a lot of Barb and Ollie's out of this recruitment effort this year as well. What are some of the things that you and Barb do when you get together? We go to the library, go out to eat, we talk, we have personal talks, we talk about my schoolwork, we study my SAT book, we read books, I help her do math, I help her teach algebra, and we go to donut shops, coffee shops, and have a lot of fun just talking and sitting in the car. Sometimes we go to Dairy Queen or McDonald's or things like that. It's a lot of fun having somebody you can hang out with and talk to. I think I need Barb as my mentor. This fat boy here loves the donut shops and that kind of thing. <laughs> so you said she's met some of your family before yes. as well? She's met my mother, my father, my brother, <laughs> my three dogs. She hasn't met my brother Snake though. Okay. Yeah, Is she working she... up to that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's afraid of them yet or not. It's just we talk about our health, we talk about my health a lot, we talk about what I like to do, what she likes to do, what we both like to do. Um, you were talking a little earlier that uh, you want to be a pediatric nurse once you finish high school? Yes. I don't want to mess with it. I want to deal with a lot of babies and take care of the babies, take care of their health, make sure they're healthy, and make sure they have a good health before they go home to their mothers, or make sure they're taken care of while they're in the hospital. And at Fountain Square Academy, you can actually earn college credits while you're still in high school. Why don't you talk about a little bit about that? Yes. As a matter of fact, next year I will be a sophomore and a junior, and I'll be a freshman in college because they're letting me take college courses while I'm in high school, why I'm in school, so that way I can do my high school and my college. And I can do two years of college while I'm in school, and they will pay for every bit of college that I need. So you'll actually leave high school with not only a high school diploma, but with, you said, 60 credit hours or yes, equivalent to credits. an associate's degree uh, before you even leave high school to give you a great start on, on that career. Yeah. Um, have you done anything with, like, Riley here locally yet uh, through volunteering or, or if they're a little tour at least and, and see what that's like? I've talked to a few students. I've talked to the manager of the night crew. I go there regularly and... Yes, I've tried volunteering, but with my health at the stake it was mm -hmm. before I started volunteering, I had to set that aside for now until I, until I seen what was happening with my health. But I am thinking about going back and volunteering. You have to get two tuberculosis tests to volunteer, and you have to go through a health screening test to make sure you're healthy and all that because they don't want you being around kids if they're not healthy. So, and the main thing I always want to do is be interactive with the children so I can get some experience in that. So I know how it would be when I first start my career and how hard it would be to, if I lose a patient or how hard it would be for me to deal with that in my heart and stuff. And I just need to get more experience. So what's the one thing that stands out to you in your mind uh, that Barb has been a help with you over the last nine months or so with? My schoolwork. She's helped me a lot and I went from an incomplete in biology to, in biology to a straight A. I went from going worse in my English to a straight A. She helped me with my English, my language, my biology. My test, she helped me study for test. She's been there when I needed someone to, to talk to. She's very polite, very polite. She's very caring. She can take care of a lot of things. She, she'll buy things for you if you need it. She's took me shopping before. She's bought things for my birthday. She's bought things for a lot of things. She's very sweet. We've hung out for hours of times. My mom's went with us one of the times to go to the library, and I just think she has a real good impact on my family, and my family loves her. 
So mentoring works, her. in your yes. opinion. Uh, it helps. If you're watching this video and you want to invest in the life of a young lady uh, like this right here and uh, shape not only her present but her future, give us a call, 955-7912. Blessings.